Can you imagine doing one thing every single day and then having so much energy the rest of the day? I mean, to where you don't even have to get a coffee, you don't need to turn to energy drinks, and you just have like so much extra energy to burn, but now you're super motivated to go burn it off at the gym or go run around with your kids or whatever it is. And in fact, this one thing that you'll do is not bad for you at all. You will have no guilt about it. And in fact, it's like the best thing you could ever possibly do for your health. Watch this video and I'm gonna tell you how easy it is to do this thing that I swear changed my life. I'm Danielle Ford with YoungMomsClub.com and this is Figure It Out Friday. Now this is a little different segment and for the time being and not really having a better title, I'm gonna call it uh, Danielle's Kitchen. Ta-da! I can't really cook, but I can juice my face off. Okay, so I'm not claiming to be like a health or fitness professional by any means, but I can tell you with all honesty that I have been juicing for almost two years and it has just totally changed my life. I came upon the movie, um, the documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, and that's a crazy title, but it caught my attention and I watched it. It was all about juicing, and as soon as I was done with it, I was like, holy crap, and I went out and I tried it, and I was hooked. I used to have to have an energy drink or coffee or something every single day, usually in the morning, just to be able to like focus and get my mental clarity to be able to like continue on with the day without crashing. And after I watched this movie, I just started researching everything I could and like studying what all the vegetables do and how to mix them and what recipes to do. And I just became addicted. So I tell everyone about it and a lot of people ask me questions because I post uh, pictures of it on Facebook. And I've gotten so many friends hooked on it. I usually will have them over and juice for them and then give them like a mini lesson about all the benefits of juicing and then show them how it works. So that is what I'm gonna do for you today. I'm gonna try to explain it as simply and quickly as I can, but remember, I'm not like claiming to be a doctor or anything. I just, this is all my own research and also just stuff I've learned from like online health coaches, which I will link um, some people at the bottom of the blog, and I'll link the movie as well. So this is all just like stuff that I've put together and stuff that has worked for me. First of all, in about 15 minutes, I am going to consume all of this produce. You can see that's a lot of food. Um, I could never eat this much food. Even if I liked vegetables, which I don't, I hate vegetables. I hate them. Um, I could never eat this. It would be disgusting. I would probably throw up and my stomach would just would not hold this much food. Okay, so let's say that I actually could eat all of this food, just chewing it up, okay? Um, the way that it works is that all of the nutrients in these vegetables are held together inside of like fiber strands, right? So if I was to sit down and consume all of this produce, um, by the time that it went through my system, and I pooped it out, I wouldn't get nearly half of the nutrients because all the nutrients are like stuck in the fiber and they just pass through. I would get some fiber, but I wouldn't get all of the nutrients that are packed into uh, these vegetables. So that is where the juicer comes in. When you run these through the juicer, it just demolishes, it demolishes the fruits and the vegetables and it releases all of the nutrients from the fibers and no fiber gets put in the juice at all. That's all what gets extracted. So when you drink it, you just immediately absorb all of those nutrients into your bloodstream. Like you have immediate energy within like 15 minutes or so. It's just like a rush. It's better than caffeine. It's better than, I've taken like caffeine pills when I was like stupid and you know, younger way better than that, you know, no jitters or anything, but just like super energy focused, can take on the day. Um, it's just amazing. I can't, I cannot live without it. I'm not even kidding. Like 
ever since I started juicing, I have not needed an energy drink or coffee like one time. Even like as soon as I started drink, uh, juicing, like a couple of days afterwards, and I wasn't like trying to quit energy drinks or coffee. I just a couple of days later, I just realized like, oh, I haven't even needed coffee or energy drinks. So, and not that I haven't had coffee. I don't drink energy drinks anymore, but not that I haven't had coffee. Um, you know, if I'm at Starbucks and I feel like it or it's cold outside and I want like a warm coffee, I will allow myself to have it, but um, I don't have that like urge like, oh, I need it, I need it, like I did before because of the juicing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the juicing and how fun and easy it is. Um, a lot of people like think it's this big deal, a big process, so they're kind of scared of it, but it's like super simple. And like I said earlier, I cannot cook. I don't know anything. Like if a recipe says sizzle or simmer, I'm like, what is that? I don't know. Juicing is so, so simple. Okay, so a lot of people <laughs> recommend that you like, you know, core the apples or some people will take all the leaves off of the plant or cut up the vegetables. And honestly, I'm just too lazy to do that stuff. So I just like throw it all in the juicer, just cram it in there, and I just ingest it. The first ingredient um, that I'm using is apples. Two apples because they're kind of small. And you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And on a side note, um, in the last two years, I've gotten sick one time, and that was for like a very short amount of time. It was maybe a day and a half. Um, I think I just like couldn't, you know, dodge it. So in that two and a half years, I've never gotten like full blown sick and I don't take medicine and I don't get flu shots, but because of juicing, it's just boosted my immune system incredibly. Sometimes I'll feel something coming on and I'll be like, oh no, okay, I need to up my juicing and then I'll juice extra and then it'll, it'll go away. Okay, so we have apples and then I'm going to use a cucumber, which the cucumber is really good as a base for the juice because it has a lot of juice in it. Obviously, like the leafy greens don't have a lot of juice in that in them, so you get less from it. So this is really good as like a base, and so are like the apples, and to sweeten it up a little bit. But cucumber is super good. I always put cucumber in my juices because it's so good for your skin, and it just helps detoxify. You just drink. I just drink it, and it just flushes out like all these toxins from my skin. I can always tell a difference whether or not I've had cucumber in my juice. Okay, so I'm also using carrots. Um, carrots are awesome. They're, they help with your eyesight. They have the beta carotene, which is just um, tons of other nutrients that a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables don't have. You, ha you don't want to use a ton of carrots because um, they can spike your blood sugar levels. So I just use a couple, um, but they do help with sweetening up the juice. Some of the green vegetables will make it taste a little bit bitter. So this kind of balances out and um, helps it to taste better. Next, the leafy greens are the most important part of the juice. And there's all sorts of types that you can buy. It's really good to mix it up because although they're you know similar um, to each other, they all have different nutrients. So you don't want to get your body used to just one thing all the time. You want to mix it up. Um, so right now I'm using kale, which I love kale. Um, and I'm also using collard greens. But the darker the leaf, the better. There's more chlorophyll in it, which is this thing that gives leaves and plants color. Um, so that the darker, the better. And kale is probably like the most nutritious food you could ever, ever eat. And it does taste a little bitter on its own. But um, when you juice it, you can't taste anything. Like, you can't taste anything. And then the last thing is the lemon, which is very important. Um, I just throw the entire thing in there with the peel and everything. Um, the juicer knows like what it can juice and what it should throw away, so usually the peel will come out intact, which is kind of cute. Um, but the lemon is super important because it makes it taste good. This will end up tasting like lemonade because of the lemon. Okay, one more thing before I start juicing. I want to just give one more mini lesson, and this is so important, okay? So there's... I'm sure you've heard like in chemistry class or whenever about a pH scale. Uh, pH means potential hydrogen, but there's a pH scale that um, on one side, on this side is acidic, and on this side is alkaline. And every single thing has a pH level. Your body has a pH level, your skin has a pH level, products that you use on your skin have a certain pH level, 
which is why some will do different things to your skin, you know, um, help create more oil or help dry it out. Um, everything has a pH level. Now, you know, acidic's here, alkaline is here, and disease and illness cannot live in an alkaline environment. It cannot live. When it's alkaline, they just cannot survive. But disease and illness, like, thrive in an acidic en environment. So if your body is acidic, you're going to get sick. You're not going to be able to fight things off. And you're going to wonder, like, why you never feel good. But if your body is alkaline, it's going to boost your immune system. Any disease that gets there is going to get killed really quick. And no disease is, like, not going to even want to go there. And most of the foods that we eat, uh, meat, dairy, uh, bread, soda, coffee, all of these things are very acidic. So you're eating all this stuff and it's just pushing your body over to the acidic side and then you're able to like catch any virus that goes around. Whereas all of these fruits and vegetables are super alkaline. So even if you're eating bad stuff still, um, it's just so good to put this in here to kind of fight the battle inside your body, you know. Um, the greens are very alkaline, as well as the lemons are extremely alkaline, although you would think that lemons are acidic, obviously, um, since, same as oranges, but they're actually not. They are actually um, alkaline. They turn to alkaline in your body. So I always put the lemon in my juice. But I also, and it's a good idea for everybody to, um, in the morning, have a glass of water with squeezed lemon in it because that just kind of like um, wakes up your system and will start to alkalize your body first thing right off the bat. Okay, ready? So I'm going to juice now. Um, this is my juicer. It's a Breville, Breville Icon. I love it. Um, this is my third juicer I've had because I'm kind of picky. I don't like to clean them. And this one is very easy to clean. Um, it's just, it comes apart so easy. That's like, if it's hard for me to clean, I just like won't even wanna do it. So I love this juicer. Um, I'm gonna, you'll see me juice, I'll explain it, but you wanna put like a soft thing, like the leaves and then something hard and then something soft and something hard to kind of keep that balance because the motor is gonna be grinding it. So um, let's start with a cucumber. Um, let's put this in. Turn it on. Yay! ghetto cup um, because I lost the one that it came with <laughs> but I do have this so with all that food that I just juiced let's see um, how much it made okay that which was like you know all this just turned into this and that is 24 ounces of juice that is so much nutrients that is so good for you this is more like health than most people get in like two weeks. Like people don't eat this many vegetables in two weeks. 
and you're going to be doing it hopefully in one day. Imagine like how good you're going to feel from that. Okay, so I never knew that you could actually put a bag in here, which is like genius because I used to have to clean this out too. But um, I just put a little bag in it. All the pulp comes in. I don't know if you can see it. There's like all that, all that is like fiber. <laughs> all the fiber and all the extra stuff that isn't nutrients that came out. And just for the record, um, a lot of people have like opposing views on juicing because they say that you need fiber. Well, you do need fiber. Fiber is very important. But um, you can compensate by adding fiber to your juice. Or there are some other recipes where you can actually use this in like to make crackers and to make bread and kind of stuff like that. So a lot of people will be like, oh, juicing is not as good as smoothies where you put all the, ve the vegetables and fruit in it and then you just like blend it. But I'm not a huge fan of smoothies. I do drink them once in a while, every couple days. Um, I just love the juice. But there, there is like controversial um, topics going on around that. So just be aware. Um, that's it. I am going to enjoy my juice. Stick a little straw in it. Mm. It's seriously so good. I'm not kidding. I'm not just saying that. And every single person is like, ugh, it looks disgusting, and it does. It is so good. It's like, it's like lemonade. It's like creamy, healthy, life-changing lemonade. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, let me know what you think about this video. Um, as I have said before, and I stick to it, I believe it's much, it's very important to take care of yourself first, which is why I'm telling you about this recipe that's for you and not so much your kids, unless your kids will drink it, which mine will not. If it's green, they won't try it. Um, and even they've said they liked it when I've hidden it in like sippy cups, but then as soon as they know what it is, they won't have it anymore. So, um, you know, I always make sure I get my green juice because if I am not taking care of myself, I can't take care of my children as well. But I also have recipes for um, more fruit-based juices that kids love, and there are some ways to sneak some vegetables in, and they will not know. So if you um, are interested, let me know, and I'll create uh, a video about how to trick your kids into drinking healthy green juice. All right? Also, if you haven't yet, go over to youngmomsclub.com and sign up to become part of the club, and I will also send you a free gift automatically. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Can you imagine having... Can you imagine... Oh my gosh, why can't I say it? Start over.